And then I think there was a fight uh, on Friday night. It was Jake Paul against Mike Tyson. I think it was. But uh, I watched. I, at least I tried to watch. And then I'm watching on my phone. And then all of a sudden I'm watching on Antonio Brown's stream. Like, I mean, Netflix, you got to get it together. You got six weeks before you got football games on uh, Christmas Day. So I'm watching that. And I thought at one point that Jake Paul was being respectful to Mike. And he could have hurt him, probably could have knocked him out. And I'm glad that he didn't. So you can say whatever you want about Jake Paul. I don't think he's a great boxer. I don't think he's a good boxer. I think he's a great marketer. And he held Mike up. And Mike didn't have any spring in his step, as I've said many, many times. If, you, uh, if Mike doesn't get you in the first round, he's not going to get you. Jake Paul is probably a better boxer. Uh, well, certainly now. But I, I just didn't want Mike embarrassed. That's all. And uh, then when he said he wanted to fight Jake Paul's brother, I go, no, Mike, we're not going to do this again. 60 million households tuned in for that, or at least tried to with Netflix. The undercard was great. The women, awesome. And then all of a sudden you're watching and there weren't any real standout punches, no real flurries or anything like that. And Mike biting on his gloves during, I didn't, he says he has some biting fixation. Oh, we know that, Mike. But Mike got paid, and Jake Paul is going to take on somebody else again. Go back to when Jake Paul fought Nate Robinson. Remember the former NBA player? He fought him, and Nate Robinson's like, okay, can people now get off my back that I lost to Jake Paul, and I guess everybody you know, was picking on him? Tyson loses to him, and uh, I mean, it's not murderer's row of who he's defeated. He hadn't beat anybody, but... He's a great marketer, did a wonderful job with this. And then it's buyer beware. As I said before, you can hate him. He wants you to hate him, but he wants you to pay to hate him. And that's what you had with that fight. But I'm glad that he let Mike walk out with some dignity there because Mike was spent at the, uh, at the end of that boxing match. Bigger L this weekend, Mike Tyson or Netflix? <laughs> oh, definitely Netflix. <laughs> Definitely Netflix. You're going, uh, like the whole thing, when Holyfield got up there and they're trying to interview him and then he can't hear and everybody's making the same joke about his ear. Yeah. And <laughs> it was just unprofessional. It was really, for a company that big, how many, I don't know how many uh, rehearsals you had. I love Rosie Perez. God, I love her. I don't know if I want her on the boxing coverage there. Or it just felt like the whole cast was misplaced there. I thought Ariel Helwani did a wonderful job, our good buddy. You know, when you're in the thick of things, doing those interviews in the ring, it was just, it felt like it was minor league in their approach. Yeah, Paulie. Yeah, it, it almost matched the awkwardness of the fight itself because nothing really happened. All right, I've been saving this for a little bit. But Holyfield can't hear. They're asking <laughs> him a question. He's just staring straight ahead. And he's got his sunglasses on. I'm going, Evander. Evander. Just like, huh? Okay. Do, right. you, do you guys think okay. Mike Tyson did his best? Do you think he gave full effort at any point in that fight? I watched some of those training videos, and he looked like he's in shape. I know they're training videos. They speed him up. They edit him. I don't know if he was. Oh, you think they sped up his training video? Oh, yeah. They put out these training videos, and they what? speed up the rate, so they show better on social media. Wow. Very clear. But okay. it never felt like Mike was going for it. Maybe at the end of a round, he'd throw one. I'm not calling a fight fixed. It, mm. it felt like Mike showed up and knew his role in the, in the show. His role I, in the show. I hate to say that I agree because I, Mike kept saying that, you know, this is real. And then we had the slap at the weigh-in and, Ariel Helwani came on and said, hey, Mike has that look, and it's you know scary, and his son said, oh, my gosh, my dad has that look. And I think Jake Paul knew exactly. He strikes me as a scripted person. He knows what he's going to do. His, his risks are very, very calculated. That's why he handpicks these opponents. Yeah, Seton. Well, you know, that's interesting because it feels like what's being implied is that if he wanted to, Mike Tyson could have won. No, that he, I don't he think was, he could have won. He was paid to throw the fight there, which 
to me, I got the exact opposite. Like, I think Mike Tyson actually did try to win. And I think very quickly Jake mm-hmm. Paul realized there's no way this dude, like, I could kill this dude right now if he wanted to. And he just held him up the whole ring, the whole, uh, yeah, every round. Yeah. There were times that Mike Tyson, he literally stopped moving in the ring. He wasn't even moving his feet. He just stood there with his hands up. He wasn't even moving his feet. And then it would be, you know, 15 seconds later, it would snap and he'd be like, oh, wait, I got to move a little bit. <laughs> It was like they were jolting him. Yeah. Whoa, like, hey. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is still going on. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Let me fight. Um, having seen so many Mike Tyson fights, his legs were gone. And when your legs go, you're in trouble. And he didn't. He came out, knee brace, and there was no real spark there. And then I thought, okay. I think he kind of knew or got to that point where once you get in the ring, then you, you get a sense of, Maybe this this is going to go his way. And Jake Paul, he handpicked Mike. If they were both 27, Jake Paul wouldn't even be in the building with Mike Tyson. He wouldn't be in the state with Mike Tyson. So he handpicked him. He knew what he was getting. He capitalized on it. He made a lot of money. So did Mike. I don't want to see Mike fight again. Yes, Paul? It, it did feel like a three-quarter speed sparring session where there was no thunderous punches from either person. There's no knockout tries by either person. It's like, let's put on a show. Let's go as many rounds as we can. We know the result, and let's get out of here and get our checks. You know, remember that TV show, The Hills, where you weren't sure if it was reality or scripted? That felt like this, where I I, I never watched The Hills. Dan, you used to come in on Monday and rip <laughs> on that, The Hills. Was that Christian Cavallari? Don't do that. What are you doing? Don't, don't <laughs> act like you didn't watch it. No, no, no. I'm disappointed I didn't watch it after seeing Christian Cavallari oh. when she does her social media post. I'm like, wow. It's been over for 12 years, so it's a perfect time for you to dive into it. For me to go back. It's usually a decade, <laughs> then I go back and watch these shows. My wife will say, what are you watching The Hills for? I don't know. Yes, Todd? Within Mike's very <laughs> short answers in the uh, boxing once it was over, extremely short responses, um, were you surprised, or is he just playing a game about how he said he's not? He didn't say I'm not fighting anymore. Were you? What were you expecting him to say when he was I, asked? If I, he was I do it? just tuned it out. I, I don't want to hear it. I, he should not fight. They shouldn't have sanctioned it. It was an event. It wasn't a boxing match. It was an event. And if if you're fooled by it, disappointed by it, uh, buyer beware. Jake Paul is a businessman. He knows exactly what he was doing, and and Mike, to his credit hitched his wagon to Jake Paul and uh, we just didn't see anything there this is where and and I've said this before about Tiger Woods that I wanted to see him one more time so a new generation could experience Tiger Woods and then he wins at Augusta and then I was like great I don't care what happens after that a new generation got to see Tiger be Tiger you weren't going to see that with Mike not at age 57 or even 47 and maybe even 37 Give credit to Jake Paul. He made a lot of money. That's what he was setting. That's what he wanted to do. He's an influencer.